Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, what, yeah, 16, 17 grams since he's been with Beyonce. Every artist have a story, whether you're the smallest artist or the biggest artist. What will define you is your preparation. The great Nipsey Hussle once said, luck is just being prepared at all times, so when the door opens, you're ready. This is my journey. You think I'm playing? Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your friendly neighborhood brother, Dagger, aka Red Robe. How y'all doing out there, man? I hope y'all are having a great winter. <laughs> hope you're having a great winter. Uh, if you live up north, if you live uh, in warmer areas, you are blessed right now because it is really cold up north. So, I, I, you know, I really, I really hope that you're having a better weather experience than I am up here, up north. Today I got a great video for you. Something happened recently at the Grammys. Jay-Z was, he was winning an award. Uh, it's a special award that they have added to uh, the categories. It's like a Dr. J award for like accomplishments throughout the year and stuff. And Jay-Z got up there uh, to accept his award and he did something that, um, you know, we, we don't usually see him do. And there's something about it that um, you need to understand. And this might just be my view, but I got it from something that somebody else said in connection to it. And it all intertwines together. But I want you, let's, 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 let's go back and check out what Jay-Z said at the Grammy. And then we're going to intertwine the two things together and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, let's see what Jay-Z said at the Grammys. I'm just saying, we just, we want y'all to get it right. We love y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all. We want y'all to get it right. At least get it close to right. And obviously it's subjective. Y'all don't got to clap at everything. Obviously it's, sub obviously it's subjective because, you know, it's music and it's opinion based. But, you know, some things, you know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. You know, some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you may get robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. <laughs> if you remember, right, Kanye West did something similar, right? You remember that time when he got up on stage and he was like, Taylor Swift, I don't mean to cut you off. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I honestly feel like this is something similar, but Jay-Z did not uh, cut off anybody. Or he didn't come up on anybody's time to do it. He did it in his own time and everything. He did it in his, in his own slot that they gave him to speak. But it, it's similar. Basically, you know, he got up there and he defended his wife. And an interesting question is, if she have won so many Grammys, why hasn't she won the album of the year? That is a good question. So it leaves you to think that they have an ulterior motive when giving her Grammys or giving them Grammys altogether. But before I go into that, I want you to hear what 50 Cent had to say. It's basically like he's answering Jay-Z's speech. Check this out right here. Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, what, yeah, 16, 17 Grammys since he's been with Beyonce. Right? And, and you go, Prior to that, one. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that came in association. Like, like you see, the, the kids even have Grammys. Like, they don't, they don't sing yet. They don't sing. Right. <laughs> they don't rap yet. <laughs> and they already have Grammys and shit. So it's like they give this, they give them this trophy so, so we secure that they're coming mm. to the award show. It meant that much to the culture that they just gave them the things they So what I got from that basically was 
that the Grammys are using them. That's what I that's what I got from it. You know, I could be wrong, but that's what I got from what he said. Because Jay-Z didn't have any Grammys or a lot of Grammys until he married Beyonce. And he, then he started getting the Grammys. And then they even went as far as giving his kids Grammys. As 50 said, even the kids got Grammys and they don't sing. So what is the purpose of them just giving them the Grammys all the time? So I feel like they're giving them the Grammys, as 50 said in the video, they're giving them the Grammys as a form of an invitation to make sure that the biggest superstars in the world are at the Grammys every time. Because it's weird for them to have won so many Grammys, but she's never won Album of the Year. That's just some very shady things, you know what I'm saying, going on over there. So 50 might have a point. They might just be using the Grammys as a form of invitations. Like, we want Beyonce there. And Beyonce is married to Jay-Z. So how are we gonna get Beyonce there without Jay-Z? Well, let's just give Jay-Z a trophy too. I mean, as a matter of fact, we even gonna make it better. Let's just give the kids some trophies too. And then we gonna guarantee that they'll be at the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Plus the Grammys know. The Grammys know that Beyonce and Jay-Z and even the kids at the Grammys is a good look. You know what I mean? It's a good look. You know, you're gonna get the support of the black community. You know what I mean? Because Beyonce is there, Jay-Z is there, the kids are there. They're winning Grammys. But why not give her the album of the year? If she really won the album of the year because I feel like she has had some great albums over the last couple of years. That Lemonade album was big. I don't think there was anything bigger than it that year. You know what I mean? So it's a very suspect move. These are very suspect moves by, by the Grammys. And Jay-Z was just calling them out on it. It's weird, but he did do, he did do it in a very uh, polite way. He did do it. He did handle it like a gentleman. He didn't do it like Kanye West and come up and cut somebody off, cut and Taylor Swift off when you know she was young and she was she, she was winning her first award for whatever. And you know he came up and he, even even Obama thought you know even Obama said this. What's he doing? How did he do that? He's a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it's just uh, it's just some weird things to look at, and it's kind of like Fifty was answering Jay's question and saying. The reason why they're not giving her album of the year because they're using the Grammys as invitation to get y'all to the Grammys when they don't really want to give y'all the Grammys that y'all really deserve. I mean, that's what I get out of it. You know what I mean? Like, what do you think? What do you think about it? Do you think they're actually using, you know, Beyonce and Jay and his whole family as bait? You know, to get the black community to watch the Grammys, to have a good look. It's the biggest superstars in the world. They're just giving them Grammys to bring them there instead of giving them the Grammys that they truly deserve. Like, do you do you think it's a plot that they're trying to, like, really play with these people? But I don't know, man. All these people are, like, rich and famous and powerful people. Like, we don't know. I mean, 50 should know because you know he's in that industry he's he's obviously on their level so he he's a guy that knows the way the system works but what do you think do you think they're playing games like do you think they're using the grammys as invitations to get them there i don't know man but that's my video for the day i hope y'all have a great weekend it's dagger aka red robe and i'm out